Hello everyone, my name is Sharon. In today's video, we are going to be going through the items I am decluttering through my spring cleaning that I did a couple weeks ago. Now I intended to film it, I mean I intended, I did film it, except my battery ran out and I didn't catch it because I was so in the zone that I have like zero footage of the actual like declutter. So all I have now is like a giant makeup bag full of the items that I am decluttering, but I thought that I would just go through those really quickly and share with you that and then what the drawer looks like, the two drawers that I decluttered, what they look like now. So let's go ahead and dig into this bag. Okay, so I, it's all kind of in here willy nilly. It's been mixed up. I was just throwing things in this bag, but um, I'll try to go quick uh, and give my explanations as to why I'm decluttering some of these items. Um, the first two are eyeshadows from Physicians Formula. I used to love these um, several, several years ago when I was very first getting into YouTube. I was super obsessed with these, um, and I just haven't been using them lately. They are pretty glitters, but they do have fallout. Um, so they're beautiful. If they're on sale and you feel like getting them, you know, do, but I didn't feel like I needed them anymore. Another Physicians Formula item is this quad, um, which of, of just matte neutrals. I can't remember who said that they liked them, but they don't do much for me. They're not very pigmented and I just don't need them. Then next is the City Mini Palette from Maybelline. This one is Rooftop Bronze and I liked it, but again, I have a lot of other colors I like better. This one was my favorite here. It was the prettiest shade. I just don't feel like I need this. I don't reach for it enough, so it's going. Okay, this one is brand new, and the one is used, I'm going to pitch because I'm sure it's really old, and they are from Wet n Wild, the Walking on Eggshells um, palettes. This is my absolute favorite trio, and now quad, from Wet n Wild. This is like my go-to. If I need an easy look, I do it, but I have the updated one that has that matte transition color, so that's the one that I use now. I just don't need these anymore. I had this from a sale just as a backup because it's my favorite, um, but again, I have that that quad now that has the transition color, so I don't feel like I need these, but this is brand new, so I'm gonna pass it on to a friend. Okay, another Wet n Wild is um, one of the limited edition ones, I think from last spring, um, Will You Marina Me. It's pretty, but I just don't reach for it. Okay, an e.l.f. trio. So when I said singles, I mean, I was also, ooh, I'm throwing things at my dog. Um, I was including like these little palettes, not my, my big palettes, but little ones, and mostly from the drugstore. Um, so the next is this one from e.l.f. I feel like I just got this not long ago. It was in a recent collection. Um, it's the Sculpting Silk Eyeshadow in Berry Please. I did not feel like this was pigmented. It didn't do much for me, so it's going. Uh, from All May, one of these little brick quad things. If it's purple, I'm buying it. I love purples. I have purples in my eyes today. I'm not sure if you can see it since I'm wearing my glasses. But um, these, not pigmented at all patchy, light, skip, do your soul a favor and skip this. Do not spend your money on this. I, I don't think it's good. If you've had other colors in this that perform well, let me know. But this purple one, eh. this one I hated and maybe I just don't know what the heck I'm doing and I need someone to advise me on that. But it's the L'Oreal Crushed Foils Shadow. This one looked beautiful in Diamond Dust. Um, I used it wet, still had a lot of fallout. It's just, it's messy. You can see it like floating around in there, all the little pieces that are broken off. So it's just a pain for me to use and I don't use it. If you've had success with this in the past and have a tip on how to use this without creating a mess, let me know. But for me, this didn't work. Two of the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Metallic um, paints. One in purple and one in this peachy color. They're okay, but I didn't like love them. They weren't like favorites of mine and I never reached for them. It doesn't even look like I hardly, hardly touched them. So I'm decluttering them. This bad boy I've had forever, like probably years. So that's also why I'm getting rid of it. Like it's probably six years old. I'm not even kidding. And it's from Hard Candy, a single shadow. I don't even know if you can still buy single shadows from Hard Candy anymore. But this shade is in Minx. And I was going through a phase where I really wanted, um, like in my, when I was in college, where I really wanted purple under my lash line and I had a hard time finding something. So this worked well for me for a long time. I'm kind of surprised I didn't hit pan. I used it a lot, but I just don't need it anymore. I have better purples. Okay, so a NYX single shadow. This I know came in a gift kit one Christmas um, on like Black Friday when I bought it. Um, just a single purple shadow, but again, I don't need it. I have better purples now and I don't reach for it. 
Okay, this is an eyeliner that I'm actually sad to declutter, but it frustrates me every time I use it, so that's why it's going. And it's the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, but the brown shade. I absolutely love the black shade. I don't have it right now. I need to purchase it again, but I've been using drugstore ones that are a heck of a lot cheaper, like less than half the price of Kat Von D. But I love the black one. I swear by it. It is still like my holy grail. I will always go back to it. Um, but this brown one, awful. Absolutely awful. The, when you swatch it on your hand, it looks great. Really nice pigmented brown. Same kind of brush as the black one. The problem with this is the second that you put it on your eye with eyeshadow, it gunks up the bristles and it will not transfer pigment to your lid. It's so frustrating. It's like the shadow gets on the brush and dries it all up. And then I have to like wipe it all over my hand to get it to work again. So it's just a pain and it's going. Okay, and mascara. This is Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. I feel like I saw someone recommend this and say it was good, but I just didn't like it. It didn't do anything for me, so it's going. It's okay, another eyeshadow from CoverGirl. I bought this. I remember when I bought this. I bought this when Kmart was going out of business a couple years ago um, near my home, and I thought that they just looked like really pretty neutral browns. Um, it could be an easy everyday color, but really not pigmented. Don't do much for me. The colors are kind of similar. They look different in the pan when you actually swatch them. They're very similar, so bye. This is a sample. I think it's an Urban Decay shadow. It came in a Nipsey bag or something. I never use it. It's one of those like metallic -y green duochrome type things. I'm never going to wear this. It's going. Um, a liquid shadow from e.l.f. There's nothing wrong with this. I think it's beautiful. But I have other liquid shadows that I like better, and I just don't need this. I wasn't using it, so it's going. Another mascara, L'Oreal Hydroproof Voluminous Carbon Black. This is just old. I'm pretty sure I bought this for my wedding, which was in September, so this is definitely over six months old. And it's going. Okay, one of the Maybelline New York Single Shadows. This is great. I ripped the sticker off, so I don't know exactly what shade it is, but it's like a matte white. Um, didn't really have a problem with this, but I don't reach for it. I use the Wet n Wild Creme Brulee one if I need a matte shadow that works really well. So this just takes up a lot of space, and I don't reach for it, so it's going. This one, I had a hard time decluttering, but it's broken. Like, well, not the shadow, but the lid, it's broken. It's from NYX. This was a recommendation by Tati, like, years ago. It is the Girl Talk shadow. Absolutely beautiful. I just don't need it. I haven't been reaching for it. When I first got it, I used it a lot, but this thing does not click. It's one of those that, like, springs back up, so that's annoying, so I just, I don't use it. Another one of those NYX shadows that I talked about, like that purple one that came in a set. This is just a matte white. I never reached for it. This is from Jane Cosmetics, when Ulta used to sell that years ago, so I already know that it's old. It's just a matte brown. Don't need it. Don't reach for it. This is from Makeup Geek, like one of the very first things I ever bought from Makeup Geek. I don't have a lot from Makeup Geek, but this was one of them, and it was one of their pressed pigments. Well, not pressed pigment, loose pigment in Utopia. I never did like this. I don't know why it's taking me this long to get rid of it. I don't like the packaging. It's hard for me to use. I have a hard time getting it out. I appreciate it trying not to make a mess, but it's just kind of a pain, and the color wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be in person, so I'm finally saying goodbye. This one I know came in an Ipsy bag, Ico London um, eyeliner pen, but it's a felt tip. If you've watched any of my videos on here, you know I don't like a felt tip eyeliner, so it's going. A funny story behind this one. I have two of these Physician Formula eyeliners that I'm decluttering. I want to say they're actually, oh, nope, I lied. Three, there's three. This is my favorite pen, um, eyeliner pen, both in black and brown. The problem with me is that I will get a new eyeliner pen before I throw away the old one and next thing you know I get them all mixed up and I don't know which one is which and one of them's dried out and then that's frustrating and so I'm decluttering all of these and I already bought a new one and I'm getting rid of all of these because I don't know which one is which and now I have a good one in my drawer. Does anyone else do this? I don't know why I do. I've done it for years. It drives me nuts. I need to break that habit. Okay this is a giant elf eyeliner. It's huge. You see that? It, I mean, how does anyone use that? I don't know. I don't even know how it came about this. I want to say it came in some sort of set that I got at some point. I don't know. Do any of you all or other people like acquire, and I'm talking like non, like, like you're not getting product. That's what I mean. I don't get product. All this stuff I spend my money on. Um, so those of you out there that also 
do not get free product from brands. Do you acquire things like this and you say, I don't remember getting that. Where did that come from? Because I don't know where this came from. I know I never would have bought it. This one, I hate it. I would highly recommend no one ever get this. It is the Revlon Color Stay Skinny Liquid Liner. Good idea in theory because I love a good um, skinny applicator. You can see it's kind of hard to see. Um, it's so skinny. But I'll show you these swatches. They just, like aren't that black. I'm not sure if that translates well, but um, it bleeds like crazy. Can you see that? It bleeds like crazy. And it's just not that pigmented. Kind of gray. So it's going. A whole bunch of sample mascaras that are going because I know that I got them in Ipsy bags and I haven't been subscribed to Ipsy in like a year. So these are all going. Um, do not like the Tarte lights, camera, lashes. I don't like this at all. It doesn't do anything for me. I do remember liking this Tarte Lifted Mascara, but I know I've never had a full size and probably won't buy one. I liked it, but I like others better. This one hated the Tarte Tartist Mascara. It was clumpy and weird, and I didn't like the packaging on this mini. I don't know if the full size is the same, but I hated the packaging on the mini, and it was weird. Okay, another mascara from Maybelline, the Lash Sensational Luscious um, Full Vamp Effect. Mine was in waterproof. I hate this brush. I don't like these brushes that try to be real fancy and competitive and have a million different sides. And because all I end up doing is poking myself in the eye, making my eye water, smudging mascara all over my face. No, I'm not coordinated enough for this. I need something more simple. This is too much. It's also too wet of a formula for me. I like a much drier mascara. So this is going. The Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express, that is also being decluttered. I bought this close to a year ago, I think, when I was kind of revisiting products that I remember I used to love, like when I very started watching YouTube like six, seven years ago, and I remember when this was a thing, and I remember loving it so much. It doesn't do anything for me. Mascara World has really amped up their game since then, and there are so many better mascaras out there that this one's going. Mascara. This was recommendation by Tati. It's the Collab Mascara. She loves these. She loves all of them. Let me just show you. Maybe mine's defective. The packaging is wonky. This pops out. Look how gloopy and gross this is. So I think it performed okay, but you can't even hardly see the bristles because there's so much dang product on them and it's just gross. So maybe I need to try another one when they're on sale, but I didn't like this. Here is one of the liquid liners that I do like. This one's just old. It is the NYX Matte Liquid um, Liner. I love this. This is not my favorite applicator, but the product is so good. This was just like gloopy because it's old. But you can see here, I swatched it here. Look at the difference between that black and then that one from Revlon. This stuff is good, guys. And it's matte. It dries matte fast. This is good. I would not say it's for beginners just because of the applicator. Um, it definitely takes some practice to get used to, but if you have the time, pick this up. It's affordable, super black. I like it a lot. Another liner I got in an Ipsy bag from Ciate London. This has a stamp star on it. Like, when am I ever going to use a stamped eyeliner star? No, never. Bye. This cargo liner is so dry and hard to work with. Again, I think it must have come in an Ipsy bag because I never would have bought this. I honestly have no idea where it came from, um, but it's it's dry. Look at that swatch. Like, terrible. This is a Benefit Bare Real push-up liner. I don't know if anyone ever liked these. This is obviously a mini sample. I don't know if it came in something else I purchased or if I got it in an Ipsy bag, but this was just bizarre. I don't think it ever worked that well, and this one's dried up, and... Never liked it. Here's another mini, Too Faced Better Than Sex. I'm also decluttering my large one. I don't like this mascara. I just don't. The L'Oreal one, of course, that everyone loves is better, but I have other favorites. Um, and I've mentioned in other videos, but the Stila Huge Mascara, I think is extremely comparable to this, except easier to apply. And I like the formula better. Okay, here is another liquid shadow I'm decluttering from Jordana. Does anyone use Jordana anymore? I do. I'm wearing their concealer today and love it. 
I have another one or two of these that I am keeping that I love. I'm not sure if you can still buy these anymore. I know that I bought them years ago and they're old because I bought these at Kmart. Kmart's not around anymore. Here is, here are a few shadows and decluttering that I was kind of shocked that I would. I never thought that I would, but I am. And it is the L'Oreal Paris Pressed um, Infallible Shadows, the 24 hour wear, these gems that everyone loves. I still have a bunch. I have almost all the shades. Um, these were just ones that I realized I'm being truthful. I don't reach for these. So I'm getting rid of my silver one and silver sky. I'm also getting rid of eternal sunshine. It's more yellowy gold and it just doesn't work on my skin tone. And then this is a really dark one, bottomless Java. Never reach for it. Love these shadows. They're extremely great. These are just colors that I found I don't use anymore. So they're going. Okay, here is a single shadow from Sila that I know that I purchased at Marshalls and it is called Golden Topaz. It's a pretty shadow. I just don't ever, ever reach for it and I don't need it. Here is a gel liner from Ulta. I purchased this on the recommendation of Jessica Braun. Um, she likes it. I just don't like gel liner. I've tried it. I think I also have a cushion liner that Jessica Braun suggested. Um, they're just hard to use. I'm no good at it and it takes too long. And then you get a brush messy and you have to clean the brush. And I'm not into that either. Gel liner, not for me. Yep, here's another gel liner from L'Oreal. These are great. If you love gel liner, the L'Oreal one, great. I did also think that the formula of the Ulta one, great. I just don't like them. I think they're hard to work with and I don't have time for that. Okay, this is from Milani, the single shadow in Bella Champagne. I remember when these very first came out, I think I saw a video on Tati do a review on them and said they were great. And I went to drugstore after drugstore after drugstore trying to hunt these down until I found them. Really liked them, but I just don't use it. Okay, I've got a bunch of chubby sticks from NYX. These I know are just old. Some of the lids are busted because I put them on too violently and then they split down the sides. Does anyone else do that? Um, so the shades that I'm decluttering is Milk. Who remembers that being a thing? It's an eyeshadow base. Um, Sparkle Nude, really pretty, but I have other shades I like better. And this one's been squished into the cap and it's kind of gross and old. And then this one is in Pots and Pans. It's a silver. The newer mascara from CoverGirl, the Lash Blast Active. It just didn't do anything for me. It's okay, but not my favorite brush. It just didn't give me all that I wanted it to give me. Here is a mini single from Buxom, which I actually love this shade, but I have this shade in two other Buxom palettes already, so I don't need this little baby one. Um, it is in the shade Mink Magnet. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, one of my very favorites. So pretty. Okay, and then a loose pigment. I have never even used this. I assume it also came in a sample, because I've never heard of this brand. Meech and Mia. It is in copper, the loose pigment, but I never even took the tape off because I did not feel like messing with a coppery um, loose pigment because they're messy and I'm messy and I don't need anything else that helps me be messy. And did I mention that we're filming with this backup because my vanity is a mess right now and I didn't feel like cleaning it off for this video. This one I had a hard time parting with, but it is my MAC. Excuse me. It's my MAC um, eyeshadow palette. It was a quad that actually went down to the MAC store on the Kansas City Plaza to get because you can't get them at Macy's. Well, I made a mistake and put a Makeup Geek eyeshadow in here. And I can't get it out. And I never did depop my other MAC shadows to put in here. This is a MAC shadow. Don't remember what shade. Got it cheap somewhere. But I never use either of these. It just takes up space. So it's going. All right, thank you so much for sticking with me and going through that huge bin of makeup I'm decluttering. Does anyone else feel lighter when you know you're getting rid of a ton of stuff? Like there's so much stuff sitting over here that I can just get rid of and that feels fantastic. I am so excited about that and I'm ready to do more drawers. Like I am motivated, ready to go. Also, if that camera just moved, I'm really sorry. 
my pug just walked by and hit the tripod and I saw it move so I apologize on Brittany's behalf. Let's quickly look at what my two drawers look like now that house all of my mascaras, liners, and eyeshadows and I'll let you get on with your lives. Let's take a peek. Okay so here we have um, what used to be completely loose and open and everything in there. Now I have this nice container that is holding all of the remaining um, little like quads and things that I'm keeping and the gel shadows I still have or cream I guess, um, singles, a couple of the pigments that I have and then all of my chubby sticks and liquid shadows are in here. If you'd be interested in seeing what I did keep let me know and I'll do a video on that but as you can see there's still a ton of empty space. Uh oh. Found a hideout from Jane. She's going to go because I know she's old. Sorry, Jane. Next is eyeliners and mascaras. Um, I was using this all along with eyeliners and mascaras, but I had a bulkier thing back here. Actually, I was using this for eyeliners and things. Um, and I was able to pare it down to something smaller, so I'm very happy about that. So in here are all of my pencils and um, liquid liners in there. And then I have all of my mascaras here. I've got sorted out with minis and a new mascara here, the minis that I actually like. And then I have my high-end mascaras here and my drugstore mascaras here. So again, if you'd be interested in seeing what I did keep and what I love, let me know and I can do a video on that. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and tune in next time for my next declutter. I will see y'all later. Bye guys.